Hello YouTube, this is Carson Gans and now I'm going to show you how to stream live on YouTube, Twitch or Facebook for free. What you need is OBS from Streamlabs, which is a streaming software and you can download it for free. I have put the link to the description so you can download it too. After you have downloaded and installed the software, you will see an interface like this. As you can see, OBS is clean and easy to use. First, what you have to do is log in with your Twitch, YouTube or Facebook account or even Mixer. Now I'm choosing YouTube so you can see how to use it with YouTube. Type in your Gmail account which is connected to your YouTube page, then your password. Don't worry, they won't edit or do anything with your account, the software needs it to connect to your YouTube live stream page. On this tab, select your YouTube channel. Hello Streamlabs to access your Google account. Now you have logged in and connected OBS to your YouTube channel. And now this is where the fun starts. As you can see, there is three tabs, Scenes, Sources and Mixer. First, you need to make a new scene and name it how you want. For example, my first stream, then press Done. As you can see, you can set up multiple scenes, so you don't have to set up the previous again if you make another one. Now what you have to do is add a new source by clicking the plus icon. We can add a lot of things like images, browser sources, slideshows, display captures, game captures, audio inputs and many things as you can see. For example, if you choose the browser source, you can stream a live webcam. Now I'm going to choose the game capture and then press add source. In this window, you can name your source. I'm running Battlefield 5 in the background, so I'm going to name it Battlefield 5, then we will press add new source button. At the mode, we will choose to capture a specific window, then at the window, you can find your game. After you choose the right one, you will see the game running on the OBS editor screen. Press done and you are almost ready to go. Our screen is a bit small, so right click on the screen, select transfer and fit to screen. Now if you don't want to put anything else on the screen, and your settings are good, you can go live. Now I'm going to show you the settings I'm using so you can set your OBS too. At the stream tab, if you have logged in, these settings will be here. If not, you need a custom streaming server where you have to add a URL and a stream key. At YouTube, you can find these in your live stream tab which is in your creator studio. On YouTube this will be your live window and if you scroll down you can find the URL and the stream key too. On the Output tab, choose Advanced and copy these settings. If you have a standalone video card, choose InVank. If you have an integrated one, choose the software.
Rate control VBCPR, bitrate 6000, preset high quality, profile high, level auto. At the audio tab, you can set up your desktop, microphone, and aux devices if you want to speak or if you want to add other music, for example. At the video tab, you can set your canvas and your output resolution. It would be ideal if you can set them to the same value. Downscale filter will be important if you want to downscale your output. Common FPS values will be 59.94, but you can choose 62. Of course, these settings are good for me. You can play around with them if you want to go deeper. With these settings, you can go live and try it out, or you can customize your output scene. For example, you can add your webcam, or you can add a cool frame or image too. Previously, I made a frame of Photoshop, and now I can add this frame to it, so our output can be really nice. I'm sure you can make your output very cool, so now it's on you how you want to customize your stream. As you can see, you can add multiple sources, and as in Photoshop, you can build them on top of each other. If you are ready in OBS, you can set your stream title and description and the others in YouTube. And if you have set up YouTube too, just hit that go live button and you are live. You can see your new subscribers, you can see the timer, the chat, and you can see your stream in a small window. Also, you can check the stream on YouTube too. You have to check the stream health. If it is green, your stream is working fine. In my case, I have an uploaded background, that's why my health is yellow. And here is your chat, so you can chat with your viewers too. At the top, you can see the timer and how many viewers you got at the same time. So this was my tutorial for today. Hope you learned something. If you do, it would be nice if you could support my channel with a subscribe and a thumbs up on the video. Thank you for your time. See you next time. Bye bye.